Hello guys and welcome to another profile tree video. So in today's video we're going to be going through just some of the tips and tricks that I would recommend when you have a Squarespace website. So without further ado we're going to go ahead and get started. So when you've got a website already and set up the best thing to do really is to jump on and to sort out the SEO for the website. So in order to do that I'm going to go ahead and show you. Now the main way you could do this is on the top left you'll see website. So when you click on this you'll see pages. I'm going to go ahead and click on pages. Now for each one it's going to have this little gear icon. So you want to go ahead and click on it. And this is where you'll, you're able to go ahead and change the URL slug. You'll be able to change the SEO as well. So this is preferred. You can see at the minute it's called blog2. That's something that we don't want to see. We want to just keep it as blog. So at the meantime, it is called blog. We could see that uh, that it's an enable page as well. We can add password to it if we need to, but we'll we'll just leave it as is. Uh, now for the SEO part of it as well, the meta description is going to be very, very important. Now the reason why I say this is that if we take a look at the uh, profile tree one, so I'll show you now. You can see here on uh, the profile tree uh, website, you'll see that for each of the page, it has a unique meta description. So that's something that you want to add to the actual uh, Squarespace site itself. So that'll be for the contact us. You'll have it for like, um, you know, any of the different pages that we have here. So you can see there we have one for blog. We're going to have one for services. We're going to have one for the about and for the contact form as well. So it's important to make sure that you have a unique meta description or else it will be flagged by SEO tools as well as search engines that you have duplicate meta descriptions. Now on top of that as well, you wanna make sure that your SEO title is going to be something uh, pretty unique. So it could be a blog and then uh, it could say profile tree um, or you could have it saying, um, you know, latest blogs or anything like that. You've got 82 character or you've got, let's have a look, uh, 100 characters to use up. So I would recommend to use up all of it. Uh, we're the same, so you could see for our home uh, within uh, Profile Tree, we've got Profile Tree Web Design, Digital Marketing, SEO, and Video Agency. So that's how we've got the actual meta title uh, listed. So that would be what I would recommend. Uh, something similar to have for a home page. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and select save. You'll see here on the bottom that uh, we have our home as well. want to make sure that that's, that's our most important one. Uh, which is setting up the home um, SEO. Uh, so you could see here at the minute um, that, okay, this description will be automatically generated by search engines to override that description. Okay, so you can edit the web website SEO settings, as you can see, and you could go through the SEO setup checklist and you could see that you can provide an SEO site description. So, um, You'll be able to see it here. This is pretty much just a site um, preview of how it's going to look so that you've got your site appearance, you've got your pages, and you've also got your items. Uh, you'll see it through the uh, marketing side of things as well. So that's why it's really important to uh, check this out uh, for the appearance. Now, another tip that I would recommend as well is uh, going over the marketing side of things. Now, some people... Uh, won't normally go through this, but you may as well since you're paying for the Squarespace uh, subscription. So all this is really is just jumping on to the email campaigns sort of side. So you would just click on this. And basically all that you're doing here is you're going to go ahead and create an email campaign. You'll see where you have got drafts, what you've got scheduled, what you've uh, sent and your automation as well. And you've also got your mailing lists and your email campaign settings. Now, there are several different platforms that you can use. You can use uh, MailChimp if you would like, but if you already have the email uh, campaigns um, integrated onto Squarespace, I would highly recommend just to use the Squarespace version. So again, all you would need to do is just select a create, which we'll do now. You'll see here that you'll, you've got a couple of different options there, which is to have a blast uh, email. You've got a welcome email or a thank you email. So However way you create the website, if you're wanting to have a newsletter or if you want uh, contact information, that's basically where you're going to pick up some of the emails. So uh, depending on what way you've got uh, or what way you want to set up your business, if you're wanting to gather leads and that's going to be your new customers 
or you've got uh, current customers that always uh, order from you and then you want to uh, basically showcase uh, what's the latest stock and um, this is how you would do it. You'll also be able to see the subscriber activity as well as the customer activity. Um, so that's pretty much how you would uh, do a campaign. Now if you do decide to click on them, you can see here on your left side you'll have several different options for templates. You've got the view all, you've got promote a product or service, you've got promote classes or events and so on. So it's, there's several different templates so you're not stuck for creating a design, which is the good thing about uh, Squarespace is premium templates making your life easier. So you don't have to make and build one from scratch. Um, pretty much all you would do is you would select the uh, the one that you like the most. Uh, let's just say we'll go for welcome to Clara. And basically uh, all this is, is it'll be a preview of what it's gonna look like. So there you go, you can see here, there's several different ones there. And then all you would do then is on the top right, you would go ahead and select use this template. Once you've uh, selected use this template, you'll get on the right side uh, how you would style it as well. So you can have an email background, you've got content background as well. Uh, you could choose the font pack. You can go ahead and change the text. It's very simple as well. Uh, so you can add your logo in as well. So if you want that a logo instead of a text, uh, you can add that in. Uh, so Adding a site logo, you would have to do that in the settings part of the website. Uh, you can add an image if you prefer to just do that instead of adding the logo. Completely up to yourself. Um, so pretty much that, that's what you would do just alongside of the uh, the email campaign. And once you are happy enough with it as well, all you would need to do is just go through the entire thing and then you would select send a text but of uh, or test. So of course you would send that to your own email just to see how it would look before you would uh, publish that to all of the different um, senders or the different email recipients. So that's a tip uh, that I would recommend or uh, basically to use the email campaign um, whenever you can, especially if you have an e-commerce uh, platform. There's no point in hopping on to MailChimp or any, any other uh, sort of competitor like that. Use the one that is available to you. Uh, at least you're keeping everything all together and it's not all separate. Now what some people don't do as well is utilize the full potential of what Squarespace can do. So you do have uh, other areas here as well which is to basically you know instead of just um, using the templates try to create something for yourself to make it more unique to your own website and there's going to be uh, several different um, options for you to do that. If you want to check out our tutorials on Profile Tree, um, our YouTube uh, account, you'll see that we've got several different Squarespace um, how to build sort of sites um, and it is very simple to do. Now uh, another little uh, tip here as well or little trick uh, is basically that you can have HTML and CSS uh, injected code onto uh, particular pages. Especially if you're maybe wanting to, you know, change it up a little bit or fix a couple of bugs or issues, then you can go onto the gear there, select the advanced, and then you can see here that you're pretty much able to add a page header uh, code injection. So that'll be uh, HTML or CSS, and that'll apply for each of the pages that you have. You can see there that each one has uh, code, basically. So that'll be uh, for... Um, each of your several different pages. So I would highly recommend to use that. Uh, again, fully utilize it if you know what you're doing. Uh, if not, you could just leave it and then just work with what you have. But there you have it, guys. That is pretty much uh, it for the video. That's just some of the little things that some people may miss out when you are building a Squarespace website. So, uh, or any uh, sort of uh, website for that fact. Um, again, important to check over your SEO, uh, check over your email marketing whenever you can as well. And if you can, uh, and do HTML or CSS, fire away, go for it and see what you could do with the different pages that you have on your website. But guys, other than that, that is pretty much it for the video. Um, that's just a little uh, little tip and trick sort of guide onto using Squarespace and uh, fully utilizing it for what it can do. Um, do take a look over it. There are several different features as well. Uh, you have so much more to do like analytics as well. So you've got Google Search Console as well or GA4 so you can uh, add on to the website. But guys, if you found this video helpful, let us know in the comment section below. If you'd like to know what you think, but other than that, I'll see you guys for the next video. Thank you very much for watching.